I, you know, one of the things that are coming to the forefront, and there's a lot of discussion in the media about, is a bill going through Congress that basically uh, would, uh, would force the, Jap the Chinese owner of TikTok, uh, uh, BitDance, to uh, sell uh, to an American uh, company or have the social media company shut down. So the U.S. government is going to basically place conditions on a social media company, uh, on, on the ownership of a social media company, and uh, threaten uh, to shut that social media company down. Now, I think this is a truly horrific development. I mean, it, it, it's been in the works since Donald Trump threatened to do it in 20, what, 2019, something like that. But it really is horrific. There is no national security threat of TikTok. That's just, just straight out BS. Excuses for government intervention, excuses for central planning, excuses to meddle in the affairs of consumers and producers. Uh, and, uh, you know, with no, no, uh, no justification, really. Uh, but that is, that is uh, what Democrats and Republicans, it looks like it has a bipartisan support, both Democrats and Republicans support this. Uh, it looks like it'll pass both the Senate and the House, and Joe Biden has said uh, he would sign this. Now, uh, there are a lot of challenges here, right? Uh, there was a challenge. I'm sure there'll be a, a lot of bidders for TikTok. It's a valuable, it's certainly a valuable property. But it's not clear the Chinese will sell it. Uh, a vast majority of the profits for, for BitDance are going to be are from China. And uh, it's not clear that, you know, they're just willing to sell this, particularly given that it's being done for political, for political reasons. China might just decide... To, to poke America in the eye and refuse to sell. Now, of course, the United States is kind of sticking its fingers into the, into the private parts of China, so poking in the eye is, 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 is a reasonable response. But, you know, China might not just sell and let this shut down. And if it shuts down, you've got a lot of issues. First of all, there are tens of millions of Americans who use TikTok every day, who are big fans of TikTok. Now, they will switch to Instagram, to YouTube Shorts, or to some other application. But I don't think they're going to be happy. Uh, Biden is having trouble with these kids, uh, primarily because they are anti-Israel, pro-Palestinian, uh, and he needs their votes. Does he really want to upset them uh, around TikTok after upsetting them around his foreign policy? It, you know, really not clear. Uh, but the bigger issue, the bigger issue both uh, from a philosophical, from a free market philosophical perspective, but also from the perspective, I think, of the U.S. Supreme Court, is the issue of free speech. The issue of free speech. Right. Uh, put aside whether you like China or not like China, the United States typically does not get into business of defining who will own any particular company, particularly when the company is not and has no national security issues. It's not developing and designing and selling chips. It's not involved in building weapon systems. It's not involved in any kind of high tech. TikTok is an entertainment platform. It does nothing to threaten the, the national security of the United States. And the idea that the government, and you could argue arbitrarily, is going to, is threatening TikTok, threatening TikTok, we're shutting down, is a direct intervention in the U.S. economy, which is really unprecedented, which is really unprecedented. This has really not happened before. Uh, the, the, the use of uh, the federal government to stop, I mean, we've seen the stop of foreign ownership of potential defense contractors, of builders of sensitive content, of, uh, of other things, but so far we haven't seen him stopping the Chinese from buying regular companies or even land, and nor should they stop these things. They didn't stop it when Japan was buying, and they haven't stopped it when 
you know, you know, Russians own a lot of property in the United States. And that has not been stopped, which is good. It's just respect for private property. If you want to define and declare Russia, uh, China an enemy of the United States, then you can do a lot of things and embargo it, take away all its Jewish property. You can do a ton of things once it is an enemy. But nobody wants to declare China an enemy of the United States. I mean, we don't even declare Russia an enemy of the United States while we're supporting Ukraine in its battle against Russia, and we keep claiming Russia wants to launch a war against NATO, and Russia are the bad guys, and Russia are awful, and yet we're too afraid to declare them an enemy. We still have an embassy in Russia. We still have diplomatic relations with Russia. Suddenly, there is zero reason to ban TikTok. Now, if it turns out that supporting bin Laden on TikTok is a, sec a secure, national security threat, then ban the promoting bin Laden. And, and indeed, when TikTok, when a big deal was made out of the bin Laden letter, the, all those videos we talked about on the show, all those videos praising the bin Laden uh, letter about 9-11, TikTok took it down, took all the videos down. So there is no threat, zero threat. I mean, propaganda, sure, every platform has propaganda. Propaganda is not a threat. Propaganda does not give the government the right to decide who can talk and who cannot talk, even if the talking is done or monitored by a company in a foreign, government, a foreign state, even if that company is suspected, reasonably so, to be involved with that foreign government. If you want to declare them an enemy, declare them an enemy. Short of that, you have no right to shut down a company that is not involved in a national security issue. No right, zero. And indeed, I, I have a feeling that if this goes to court and if it reaches the Supreme Court, I think the Supreme Court will agree with me. That is, there is a clear violation of the First Amendment here. There is nothing in the First Amendment that says that uh, if you promote videos of people we hate, uh, you, you, you could be shut down. There is nothing in the First Amendment that says that a found newspaper can't come to the United States, a found media company can't come to the United States and promote its agenda, sell its media. We had for years in the United States, Russia today, all over the place. We have uh, you know, all kinds of uh, stations and uh, media companies in the United States that are not owned by Americans. And once you do that, you're giving immense arbitrary power to the federal government. I mean, it strikes me as nuts, as usual, right? It strikes me as nuts as people who, who, who claim they promote limited government, who want to support capitalism, who claim to be capitalists, want to give the federal government more power, more arbitrary power, more power to decide what media companies we can, uh, we can use and what media companies we cannot, based on nothing, nothing, but some kind of populist, arbitrary, I don't know. I'm not even sure who they're trying to appeal here. Now, on top of that, uh, Trump is kind of being funny on this. I think the best way to categorize is it's funny. So Trump came out and said he opposes the bill to ban TikTok. He started this whole thing, and he opposes it. Now, it's not clear why he opposes it, because he also called Tic Tac a threat. But he also said that some kids will go crazy without it. He doesn't want kids to go crazy. Some people are speculating that he has donors with a big financial interest in TikTok, and maybe that's why he has changed his mind and flip-flops on this. Uh, he also said that he doesn't want TikTok to be sold, uh, well, TikTok to be closed, because that would strengthen 
one of his arch enemies, which is Facebook, which, if you remember, Facebook banned him after the uh, January 6th insurgency. Insurrection, not insurgency, insurrection. Um, but he basically said he thinks the bill should not pass. Now, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Uh, will congressional leaders, Republicans, uh, MAGA members of Congress, will they listen to Trump or will they go ahead and pass this anyway? MAGA seems pretty anti-TikTok, but Trump seems pretty pro-TikTok for whatever reason. Um, so um, the House of Representatives said to vote tomorrow uh, under fast-track rules that require two-thirds of the member to vote yes for the measure to win passage. There's a good chance I'll get two-thirds, depending, on, again, on how influential Trump's uh, voice on this is going to be. Um, anyway, this is, uh, this is the issue that people are concerned about. This. We'll talk about other issues in a minute. But, uh, you know, we're worried about TikTok. You know, Trump said, I'm not looking to make Facebook double the size. And if you, if you ban TikTok, then Facebook and others, but mostly Facebook, will be big beneficiary. And I think Facebook has been very dishonest. Um, anyway, we will see. We will see if, uh, if this goes through. Uh, I think it's horrible. We will see if, uh, I'm sure TikTok will sue. It'll be interesting if the courts take this up and uh, it'll be interesting if this ultimately comes to the Supreme Court. But I think this is a clear cut First Amendment issue, this is a free speech issue, and the courts, the conservative courts, have been pretty good on uh, free speech. And hey, Trump, here's an example, if Trump is on the right side of this issue, as usual, almost certainly for all the wrong reasons. So yes, I condemn Trump no matter, even when he's on the right side of issues, because he's just, he's a moron. So uh, he, his rambling on this issue are stupid, and, and I'm going to call him when he does, is the, is the fear of Facebook. It's not, he's not here defending free speech, God forbid. <laughs> that would be, that would be, now that would be something to really, you know, get my attention. The day that Trump comes out for free speech and is an advocate for free speech and standing up for free speech, then, then you know, I don't know what I'll do by myself. I'll, I'll, I'll be completely, completely crazy. But, um, So Trump is right for the wrong reasons. Trump is right, but is rambling. If you listen to his discussion on TikTok and one of the interviews he did, he, he can't put a sentence together. He can't put a coherent sentence together. I mean, people talk about Biden losing it. They're both way too old to be president. They both, mind is, is just not there. Neither one of them has a mind that's completely there. Uh, all right, uh, so uh, yeah, we'll watch, uh, we'll watch TikTok, uh, and particularly, I'm interested in what happens when it goes to court. I'm particularly interested if the First Amendment issue is raised and whether the Supreme Court will stick by its usual pretty good defense of the First Amendment. Um, we'll see.